Welcome back. A Columbus Elementary class gets a lesson in triumph over tragedy with the stroke of a paintbrush. WCBI's Heather Black was there to capture the many colors. William Hurd has been in a wheelchair for the past 12 years. I was in a car accident in March of 2000, and one of the activities I could do while I was recovering was painting. As William began to paint, he realized the technique he was using was not going to work for him. I started using a paintbrush as I taped around my wrist and I painted ceramics and canvases. I got a little frustrated with it. Um, I really couldn't control the uh, paintbrush how I wanted to. And then one late night I saw this movie about Jackson Pollock who painted using paintbrushes slinging the paint onto the canvas. So I put a styrofoam ball on the end of the spoon and I grasped the ball and I used that to control the spoon to drip paint. William gets his inspiration for his work from nature and by studying other artists. He hopes he can pass the same passion on to the students. I teach them about art, abstract art, that there are no mistakes in art. It doesn't matter what it, what it looks like, what you paint. Uh, you can't make mistakes. The students here at Cook have the advantage of actual having art specialists um, show them and expose them to these arts techniques that they may not ever see in their lifetime um, if they were not exposed to it at school. Not only are students excited to learn new things, grades are showing improvement as well. Our test scores are going up, um, but even more so than that, we're having students who are excited to come to school, who cannot wait to see what they're going to be doing next. And so to me, that's, um, that's a really wonderful education. <laughs> In Columbus, Heather Black, WCBI News. Here now with more on this heartwarming story. Well, William Hurt spent the first 25 years of his life with full physical abilities, just like you and me, but his life changed in a split second 11 years ago. With a blank canvas to start all over again, he grabbed a few buckets of acrylic paint and went to work. I love Jackson Pollock and the way he grew up using in a paintbrush. That's how I started painting with uh, using a spoon. I couldn't really hold a paintbrush that well, and so I, I thought about what could I use to drip paint. 36-year-old William Hurd has just enough dexterity to grip a styrofoam ball attached to a plastic spoon. Ball. So be patient, let it drip down. Using simple tools and some self-taught techniques, he creates canvas after canvas of vibrant artwork. Well, I have surgery on my wrist where I can move my thumb in and out, but um, I can't move my fingers. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a quadriplegic. Back in 2000, Heard was a medic in the National Guard, even helping people with spinal cord injuries when he was involved in a car wreck that broke his C5 and 6 vertebrae, leaving him paralyzed. But he never knows what happened in life, and in, in, in the instant, things can change. I bet I had to start all over again. You know, I was reborn from my car accident. That's why he likes to paint butterflies, a symbol of rebirth. I just kept, kept with it, kept doing it, and so I paint as much as I can. Hurd is currently a board member of Life, or living independently for everyone in Jackson, but his studio is in Tupelo. I started um, our artworks, and it's an art class, people with spinal cord injuries and traumatic brain injuries, and we meet several times a month. And if art reflects life, he hopes his zest for creativity will rub off on others who are disabled and need inspiration. Our house is our safe zone, you know, we feel safe there, but we really need to get out and into the community and get, get back in it and become more a part of it. We invite you to meet five North Mississippians that have each been selected to receive this prestigious award. This broadcast is sponsored by Bancorp South, Room to Room Furniture, The Create Foundation, and WTVA, WLOV, WKDH. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2011 Jefferson Awards Special. In case you are not familiar, this is an opportunity where we are able to recognize five individuals who have been nominated and then chosen by a panel of judges to be this year's distinguished recipients. Julie Brown introduces us to William Hurd, who's dedicated his life using art to improve the lives of others. Meeting William Hurd for the first time, you're bound to notice his zest for life. He's bright and driven, what you might expect from a former athlete and an Army soldier. You'd notice his smile, but probably after you notice, he's paralyzed from the neck down. Eleven years ago, March 14th of 2000, I was in a, I had a car accident. I was in the back seat of a car. I wasn't wearing my safety belt, and I got thrown into the windshield, and I broke my C5-6 vertebrae. 
when the accident happened, I knew right then I was paralyzed. For months after the accident, William went through extensive rehabilitation and a period of depression. While he was in the hospital, a representative from LIFE, an organization dedicated to the empowerment of people with significant disabilities, stopped by to offer support. You know, I didn't really know the ins and outs of my disability, what it was about. A lot of things I needed to learn, and they helped me. Years later, as a quadriplegic, support that was once offered to him, through the nonprofit organization LIFE, his disability and art, William had the opportunity to start a nonprofit organization that offers peer support through art for people with disabilities. It's, it's done so, so much good things for me. I know art can, can fill in a void for other people that have disabilities because there are no, no mistakes in art. Help me relax. Ronnie Jernigan has been disabled from a car wreck since 1971. He's grateful for the class, he says. The class is a way to have fellowship with other people who have similar things it in common. It's uh, an outlet for somewhere to go and to do something. There's not a lot of activities that are set up for uh, disabled people around. It's been 11 years since the accident that changed the course of William's life. And both William Hurd and Julie Brown join us to discuss just a little bit more about this exciting presentation. Julie, what was the most exciting thing, impressive thing that you learned when you met William? His zest for life. I mean, yeah. he has the greatest sense of humor after this. I want him to tell you some of the stories he's told me. But he's amazing. Yeah. And he's a person that has taken lemons and turned them into lemonade. Wow, that's fantastic. William, right after the accident, what were you feeling? Were you thinking that this is this is the end or that there's still life ahead? Well, I definitely thought it was the end. Um, I just, uh, I guess the first year after my accident is always the hardest. Um, I didn't know, uh, I thought my life was over with. You know, yeah. I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, know what to expect. Um, you know, I couldn't move, I was weak. Uh, you know, I was just uh, very depressed. So what turned that around? Um, well, I just, after a year or so, uh, the life organization came to my house a couple of times, and I really wasn't interested in them at first. But then I decided, you know, this is this is who I am. I've got right. to, I've got to. I can't just lay here. I've got to get up. Great. I've got to get on with my life. Great. Well, we appreciate all that you do, and congratulations for being a 2011 Jefferson Award well, well, thank recipient. You. I'm just all right. So grateful. Great. Thank you. All right, William Hurt. Good morning, and welcome back. Today we're learning how art therapy helped one man survive a life changing accident. William Hurd is being honored at a special art reception in Fox 40 Morning Reporter. Minnie Larry is live with details on how this event offers hope to the whole community. Good morning, Minnie. All right, this morning we're inside of Spectacles in the city of Jackson. And you know what? You take a look at some of this painting, these paintings behind me, and you would never know that these were actually done by a quadriplegic. Now, what happened to William Hurd was back in March of 2000, he was actually involved in a serious accident. And, you know, you took yourself and you said, you know what? I'm going to get rid of all of this depression and I'm going to start a new life. And you started this artwork. Now, Tell us about how you were feeling after that accident and what brought you to this place. Well, the first uh, year or so, of course, is always the, the hardest. Any, anybody will tell you they've been in an accident. Um, the first year is definitely the toughest because you have to relearn um, uh, everything, how to do everything. It's like you're starting all, all over from birth. I had to learn how to dress myself. I had to relearn how to eat again. And, and at the same time, you're pretty very depressed. Um, but after a year of this depression, and uh, I decided you've got to get on with your life. Um, it was, uh, that wasn't who I am. Uh, you know, I, I was, before my accident, pretty active, and, uh, but you just have to just get on with it. You know, time goes on, you have to accept it, and uh, just do, do the best you can with what you have. All right, now you're offering a lot of hope to several people out there who are faced with adversity. And what's really good to note about you is that you actually served six years in the National Guard. And after that, you went on to get your graduate, you graduated from uh, Mississippi State. All right, all right. Now we want you to stay with us. When we come back, we're going to show you all how this tool here actually helped him in his re rehabilitation. All right, back to you all inside. Good morning and welcome We're back into Spotlighting One Man's Life Journey. The event is being held at Spectacles in Jackson. I believe that's in Highland Village. That's where our morning reporter, Minnie Larry, is standing by with all the details of this event. Good morning. 
Hey, good morning. Now, all this morning we have been visiting with a special, special person. Now, William Hurd was actually hurt in a car accident several years back. And you know what? He turned all of his depression into optimism through artwork. Now, if you look around this hallway, every piece of artwork that is up is actually, it's actually been painted by him. And we're looking over here. Look at some of the intricacies that are involved in some of these pieces. And it's hard to say that, you know what, this actually came from a person who is now a quadriplegic after that accident. Now, we wanted to speak with William this morning about some of the tools that he created so that he could actually bring some of this artwork to life. Well, it started, uh, I, I don't have uh, my range of motion in my uh, wrists and fingers or different. I can't use my fingers, but something I can do, I can grab a styrofoam ball and control it pretty good. So it started with uh, I was sticking things in a styrofoam ball, either a pencil, a spoon, a fork, a knife, anything, and I can grasp it pretty tight. When I move my wrist down, my thumb goes out. I move my wrist up, it pinches. So I was able to control the use of a spoon and just reaching over and dripping paint. And then um, I'd have cups in my lap with spoons stuck in the cups. And after a while of painting, I looked down and my cups were full of paint. So I put the spoon down, and I just grabbed a cup and just dumped a cup out onto the canvas. And the cup had five or six different colors in there. So when the paint poured out of the cup onto the canvas, it kind of the paint exploded. Uh, colors went this way, went this way. It made like a ribbon effect. It did all these little intricate designs, and I uh, just started uh, experimenting like that. All right. Now, we want to thank you so much for sharing your story with all of our viewers this morning. And while we leave, before we leave, you said something really positive that I wanted to leave with the viewers. God is an action word. What seemingly infirms us can affirm us in our lives and the people around us. All right. Thank you all so much for being here. Take a look at our video. You know what? The event happens tomorrow from 630 to 830. Come on out and enjoy some sushi and some wine. All right, back to you all at the studio. And some great art. Thank you so much, Minnie, for that live report. Very interesting stuff out there. It sure is.